I've got two rectangles here, um, and they're similar rectangles. So scale factor that takes you from uh, the smaller rectangle to the larger rectangle here that takes you from three uh, to six uh, is uh, two. Also takes you from uh, five to ten. Uh, so we've got a length scale factor here um, of two. We know that all the lengths will scale up in um, uh, in exactly the same way. Now, um, what we just want to look at now then is how this relates to the uh, to an area scale factor. So the area of this smaller rectangle is three times five, which is uh, fifteen centimeters squared, and the area of this larger uh, rectangle is uh, 6 times 10 which is 60 centimeters squared so the area scale factor uh, new value over old value is 60 divided by 15 uh, which is 4. We could play around with uh, different lengths of rectangle uh, even at the moment you might look at this and think well there's lots of different results we could say well 4 is double 2, 4 is also 2 squared um, it's actually 2 squared that turns out to be the significant one um, that um, so if we were to change the change the scale factor even let's leave it as it let's leave this, this one as three by five but if we change this one and said it was uh, actually a scale factor of three was applied instead and this was nine centimeters and so this was 15 centimeters we would get uh, an area instead of 60 of uh, nine times uh, 15 or 135 and you can uh, check that 135 uh, divided by 15 is 9. So with a length scale factor of 3, we end up with an area scale factor of 9. Um, and uh, this is uh, an example of a general result which says that the uh, the area scale factor is the length scale factor squared. Um, and this makes this makes sense if you think about it. I mean if I had a rectangle that's x times x by y and I just scale it up by a particular number so it's you know say a scale factor of 4 so I end up with 4x and 4y as the, as the length instead and the area of this one would be uh, x times y and the area of this one would be 4x times 4y so that would give us 4 times 4 or 4 squared uh, times xy i.e. the area of the larger rectangle is 4 squared times uh, the area of the smaller rectangle and that would work just as well uh, with other shapes as well. So say if I had a triangle that was you know, had a certain base and perpendicular height and I doubled that base and perpendicular height for another similar triangle, the area here would be a half base times height and the area here would be a half times two base times two height, which again would be two squared times one half times the base times the height. So the area would be you know, two squared times the area uh, of the original Triangle, uh, you know, two-dimensional shapes have two always have two uh, length dimensions in them. You know, so another one we could have, you know, we could have a circle that's got the area is uh, pi r squared. And if I, you know, increase this to a to a larger circle where instead of, uh, you know, instead of r, I had uh, two r, then the area would be pi times two r squared, which would be four lots of uh, pi r squared. Um, so you can see whatever the scale factor is ends up being uh, squared. It doesn't just apply to neat uh, shapes with nice geometrical formula like those ones. It's any, any two shapes that are similar. Now I haven't managed to draw these two shapes exactly uh, similar here, but hopefully I'll give you the idea. Um, so you know, if let's say the shape on the left had you know, an area of 10 centimeters squared, we've got the length scale factor because they've got the you know, they've got an equivalent length here of three and five from one side of the shape to the other. So the, the length scale factor is 5 thirds, so the area of the larger shape would be 10 times uh, the length scale factor squared, which would give us uh, 250 uh, over 9, or you know, approximately 27.8 centimeters squared. Um, and if you talk, you know, concerns about why this, you know, would work, I suppose you could think about breaking down, you know, this this bigger shape into uh, into some into some rectangles uh, you know and I might have to um, just speed up the video a bit here but you can see I'm just breaking this down into lots of rectangles now if I draw these exactly similarly 
uh, the shapes and sizes would have come out a bit more uh, nicely the same. And I haven't done, but you can sort of see, well, because because each of these rectangles uh, scales up by an area scale factor uh, of 5 thirds squared, then the whole shape must do so as well. You might worry a bit about the fact that I can never quite fill this whole shape in with rectangles, but it gives you the, the idea that the space, you know, is essentially uh, you know, scaling up uh, by that uh, by that uh, area scale factor. I can, get, I can get as close as I like to filling this in. I'm always going to end up leaving a little bit of space with these things, but I could use some circles as well, so that they scale up in the right way, and eventually we could, you know, try and we could pretty much fill in all of the space here. Anyway, don't worry too much about that. I'm just trying to give you the idea of what's going on here. Um, but we've got, you know, whenever there's a certain length scale factor, uh, we've got the result that the um, area scale factor uh, is the is the length scale factor squared, um, and that then is the key result uh, to take away from this and to use.